Welcome to your national weather update. We have a number of Met Office yellow warnings in place for the next several days for snow and ice. Please check our app and our website for more details. They're constantly being updated. Here's the bigger picture, the view from space, little hook there in the satellite image. That's a low pressure system. And this line of cloud is a cold front. Behind that, we have the cold air that's been pushing southwards and these spotty clouds across northern parts. Uh, they're the snow showers that have been peppering northern Scotland for a couple of days. That weather front in the south did produce a light covering of snow in places, some damp conditions persisting, but mostly light rain or sleet in southern counties this evening, this afternoon, and it is kind of mostly fizzling out. For many, it's a bright, fine, sunny day over northern England, north Wales, northern Ireland, southern Scotland. More snow showers coming in across northern Scotland, so snow building up here. Uh, a little more and potentially causing some further disruption with icy conditions on the roads. It is a cold day, as you can imagine. We've got the cold air in place, but still we could get up to six, maybe seven or eight in the far southwest, but generally five or six degrees. The winds, though, are not too strong. Gusts making it feel a little colder across northern Scotland. Certainly going to be cold tonight very quickly under the clear skies. The blue takes hold of the chart. Further south, we need to keep our eyes on these uh, areas of Sleet and snow coming in across the south. That could easily provide a covering across southern counties of England, perhaps even into parts of South Wales. On the coast, likely to be rain, but inland sleet and some snow, certainly over any hills, could easily see a covering, if not a little bit more. So we do have, as I say, a warning in place for that. For much of the UK, including northern Scotland, where the snow showers will be easing, it's just a clear, very cold night with temperatures easily getting down to minus four, minus five, even in urban areas. We could be as low as minus 15 through some sheltered Scottish glens. Closer to freezing in the south where we have the clouds and the sleet and snow mixture, which will continue into tomorrow morning across parts of the south. Some uncertainty about how far north it gets and how intense uh, the sleet and snow is, but we could easily see a covering across southern counties of England, tending to ease off a little as we go through the day from the southeast. But in the southwest, we could well see the wet weather pepping up again. And that means further snow through the late afternoon into the evening, perhaps into parts of South Wales, maybe even into the South Midlands, spreading its way back towards the southeast. So again, a few centimetres of snow possible across these southern counties, but it's really on the cusp. We'll also see the winds picking up, which may well introduce milder air and turn it back to rain in the far southwest. Again, for much of the UK, it's a fine sunny day tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine and temperatures stumbling up to three or four degrees Celsius. But the winds will be lighter in northern Scotland, feeling colder with the wet weather in the south. And as I said, that sleet and snow likely to pep up through the afternoon into the evening over parts of South Wales, the South Midlands and again into the southeast. So again, the potential for further snow across the southern counties during the course of Wednesday evening. So we kind of have two pulses uh, across the south, uh, potentially causing disruption. Certainly some tricky traveling conditions across the south during Wednesday evening. The winds also likely to pick up, especially along the south coast. Elsewhere, the winds remain light and another frosty night as we head into Thursday. So the potential for disruption across these southern areas as this low moves through the channel during Wednesday. That scurries out of the way on Wednesday night and then eyes out west as another low comes in, bringing moisture, hitting the cold air, potentially bringing another area of heavy snow over parts of Northern England, North Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland. This could produce more snow uh, compared to what we'll see in the south. There'll be strong winds as well, so that means blizzards are possible, particularly on some of the higher routes. This is Thursday into Friday, so we have that double whammy really in the south during Wednesday and then further north Thursday and into Friday, and there could be further about snow as we head into the weekend as well. As I said at the start, please do keep up to date with the latest weather warnings. See if your area could be affected. They're constantly being monitored. The app and the website, good places to go for that, but obviously we're constantly updating things across social media, so make sure you're following us and we'll have the latest on there, including a deep dive video uh, on our YouTube channel.